Well, I don't want to sound scary, but in my opinion, this is just the beginning of this downtrend on the market. And not to mention, everything that you're seeing so far is just related to the monetary policy. Some of the companies actually beat the earnings. Michael Burry is calling for a crash that is look-alike 1929 crash. And at the same time, in China, continuation of the lockdowns within different cities, creating a huge pressure over the production and logistics of a lot of stock, which essentially means that the market so far didn't price in lockdowns that are coming from China. And of course, this is very scary because everything, the whole setup looks like similar as the one that we saw in 2020 during the first lockdowns. Let's go over the numbers. Let me just show you that this is serious. An estimate of 373 million people or about one quarter of Chinese population have been in COVID related lockdowns in recent weeks. Okay, let's go across the ocean. Let's see what's going on this time on the market. According to Deutsche Bank, Deutsche Bank research strategist wrote an investor note this morning that S&P 500 is still at risk of taking the, the worst monthly return since COVID if it dips below this January of 5.2% return. So as we can see, collecting the pieces of the puzzle on the global image of the economics and the monetary policy that it's about to unveil. This is the biggest issue so far. Even the crypto is extremely correlated. Today I was watching a chart, you know, I'm day trading crypto. I'm trying to, right? The point over here is that Nasdaq is correlating almost one to one with Bitcoin which is crazy before Bitcoin was very, very relative hedge against any general market moves. But so far, uh, we can see the Nasdaq chart and the chart of Bitcoin are replicating almost evenly. And the other banks are start looking for insurance policies for their performance and for their clients. Look at what Morgan Stanley wealth managers start taking or talking to their clients. Investors seem to be banking on peaking inflation, strong earnings growth and that there is no good alternative in the US equities. The problem over here is that there is no win-win situation. Both situations will be losing. Let me explain. Uh, everyone is waiting to see how Jerome Powell and the Fed will actually act to fix the inflation. But no matter what he's going to do, good or bad, he's going to crash the market. He's crashing the market only when he speaks, right? Think about when he acts. On top of that, even if he doesn't do anything about it, don't say anything about it. Uh, the already current setup will crash the market on its own. The rising inflation month over month, year over year. And again, this is not the real number of the inflation. We all know the CPI data collects and picks certain items, creates a baskets of, of, of elements which are related to cer certain market participants, right? You buy this, you buy that. I might not buy the same exact thing. So my particular inflation of my family spending might be completely different. So this is why they're taking the average inflation. So we might assume that people who are buying other particular items experience even greater amount of inflation, which simply means you be able to spend and afford much less things, not because of you, but because of the general economics. And it turns out to be the Deutsche Bank is one of the most bearish banks. As you can see over here, Deutsche Bank sees 5 to 6% Fed target rate in deep US recession. Taking a quick sneak peek, over the major indices, you will see that they're almost evenly sold. You can see S&P 500, 2.8%, Dow 30, we have 2.3%, Nasdaq almost 4%, Russell 2000, 3.2%. Not to mention today's sell-off in Tesla almost cost a $100 billion loss in permanent loss for the company simply because the stock was down over 11%. So guys, I just want to make sure you're aware of what the heck is going on and what the heck is happening around the globe, right? Because things most likely are connected in some crazy way. Some people are already calling out for some of the stuff to be manufactured in the US, right? Things that are usually imported from China, which we understand it's a very, very hard and expensive process. Let me paint the picture for the other market participants, what they actually expect and when they expect the inflation. As you can see over here, Goldman Sachs estimated chances of contraction at about 35% over the next two years. According to Bloomberg Economics, 
Recession probability model has estimated a 44% chance of recession happening before January 2024. Clear simple visual what this actually means. You most likely will be start seeing a lot of bears coming up on CNBC, coming up writing articles, uh, being uh, interviewed different uh, medias. They will put a lot of stress, a lot of pressure, a lot of fear on the market. Uh, believe me, they will most likely quadruple their short positions on the market and they will be waiting for, for this uh, the big short crash coming scenario according to Michael Burry, because he, he has been calling for this for the last two, three years. Like I said, eventually he will be right, right? Eventually the market will crash. The question is when. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and come back for more.